AMT Ertles 1950 Ford 3 in 1 kit coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, everybody. My name is Trevor Selescu, and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And welcome back to another episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we're going to take a look at the AMT Ertl 1950 Ford Convertible Custom Kit. So, without further ado, let's go down and see what's in the box. And now we'll have a look at Ford's entry into 1950 with this 1950 Ford Convertible by AMT Ertl. And this is a really cool kit. George Barris had some dealings with this model. You get so many custom parts in this thing, it's unbelievable. So, here is our treat for the week. And we're going to check out this instruction sheet and move that stuff over there. Now, get ready to see a ton of parts in this model. I hope that RC2, or Round 2, has this model back in production because it's a beauty. So to start with there is our Ford engine and it's got the holes for the metal axles to go through the engine block which I know a lot of people don't really like that but they're there. <laughs> this is a nice nice version of the V8 Ford V885 the last flathead went up to 1953 and then they give you custom bits for it, like chrome-plated cylinder heads and the distributor. Now here's our wheel choices. You get the stock front and rear wheels with our favorite Firestone tires, as well as the custom front and custom rear wheels with those Goodyear tires. Then we get into our stock interior which has all the features that you would find, including some seat belts, which would have been optional back then. Uh, and here is our custom interior, and as you can see, you get a console with a TV screen on it, gauges for your dashboard, and then these nice Star Trek-style bucket seats. Now this is cool. These are special customizing front ends. You can build your car stock or custom, but you can also add in these front ends and you'll need body filler in here. But this gives you like the quad headlights and that nice grill. And ver version B has the canted headlights and a bar grill. And these are the elements I believe that George Barris had a hand in. Although model car historians can either verify that or deny it. Depends on what you want to do. Here is our location for our front bumper, front splash pan for our bumpers and how the suspension goes together. And of course here is the rear. And then you have a choice of the full stock height windshield or the chopped windshield with a V-butted wind windshield. V-butted because they took the post out. Then as we look at the back of these, these instructions, you see of course our body going together and the radiator going in. And now here's the custom, or the stock assembly. You get your choice of convertible top up or convertible boot down, as well as the rear end. And they give you these cinder blocks and a trophy. Here's special customizing tips for how to put your front ends on. And then here is the custom rear end of the car. And you get a whole bunch of details. You get these little wind splits. You get torpedo style taillights. A license plate housing. The exhaust tips. Uh, an exhaust custom bumper. And then up front there's a whole bunch of Pontiac and Oldsmobile grill bits, lake pipes, uh, the chop top, you can even have a Coupe de Ville roof. And yeah, this kit has it all. So now let's look at our decal sheet. 
this was part of a decal sheet for an American style um, what do they call those and this is a decal sheet for an American style stunt team that used to be very popular at circuses and whatnot the cars go through all these obstacle courses and do rollovers and then we get into our chrome tree here where you can see the custom uh, Krager wheels as well as a bunch of these GM components for putting into your grill chrome plated horns there's the cylinder heads the steering wheel ring for the stock version and a lot of other goodies here in this bag is the windshield and glass as well as the car body our interior bucket plastic axles and a steering wheel the frame and under chassis and note the nice detail in it stock hood and bench seat the custom slanted headlight grille and those Star Trek style bucket seats the extended hood for that same front end our console for the TV and a little sugar scoop there's the license plate shroud as well as the up top the convertible top and the inset for using the custom there's our little torpedo ends cinder blocks and seat and suspension bits as well as wheels the chopped and the stock windshield as well as a dual carb setup and here's our flathead Ford 80 motor as well as the stock engine components and the grill for our quad headlights as well as our shortened up Carson roof and our tires rear tail lights and metal axles the front splash pan and the stand for our trophy and that brings us to the end of the 1950 ford convertible review was not an amazing unboxing and i really hope you enjoyed this expose of the 1950 Ford convertible kit and if you ever have a chance check out the same kit from round two and speaking of checking out models don't forget to check out these three videos to see the other cars in our what's in the box series and also please like and subscribe to us right here so we can continue to make these amazing videos and we'll see you next time on monster hobbies what's in the box